let us now consider the microscopic features of cerebrum. I am grateful to Professor Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections. Cerebral hemispheres are located in the supratentorial compartment of the cranial cavity. They are covered by three layers of meninges. The surfaces show folding with elevations being known as gyri, separated by depressions known as sulci. Cerebral hemisphere has an outer cortex and an inner white matter containing basal nuclei at its depth. In most places, cerebral cortex shows six layers. From outside inwards, they are molecular layer, outer granular layer, outer pyramidal layer, inner granular layer, inner pyramidal layer and pleomorphic layer. Inside these six layers of cortex, we also find the white matter. There are many types of neurons in the cerebral cortex. They include the pyramidal cells, which are the main source of efferent fibers, stellate or granular cells, which are the main cells receiving the afferents, along with horizontal cells of Cajal, cells of Martinotti, fusiform cells, basket cells and neuroglyaform cells. Inside the covering of three layers of meninges, the outer three layers of the cortex include the molecular layer, the outer granular layer and the outer pyramidal layer. Molecular or the plexiform layer is the outermost pale area which is just beneath the pia mater and it is mainly made up of nerve fibers therefore it appears pale and the cells in this layer include the neuroglial cells which appear as naked nuclei and a few horizontal cells of Cajal. The second layer is the outer granular layer. In this layer, we find stellate cells, smallest pyramidal cells, few neuroglyaform cells and nerve fibers. The third layer or the outer pyramidal layer consists of small and medium sized pyramidal cells along with a few fusiform and basket cells. Inner three layers of cortex include inner granular layer, inner pyramidal layer, pleomorphic layer and of course innermost to these layers of cortex we find the white matter. The inner granular layer consists of densely packed stellate cells along with outer band of Bellarger. The fifth layer or the inner pyramidal layer, also called as ganglionic layer, consists of large pyramidal cells, including the bed cells in the motor cortex. And we also find few stellate as well as cells of Martinotti in this layer, along with inner band of Bellarger. So if we see from layer two to layer five, the size of the pyramidal cells keep increasing. Here we are seeing the large pyramidal cells of the fifth or the ganglionic layer. In case of pyramidal cells, dendrites arise from the apex projecting towards the surface and axon arises from the base of the cell facing the white matter. The pyramidal cells of different layers will contribute to different type of different fibers that is the axons of the smallest pyramidal cells in the layer 2 form the short association fibers. Axons of the small and medium pyramidal cells in the lamina 3 will form the long association and commissural fibers. Axons of the large pyramidal cells of the layer 5 gives rise to projection fibers which include corticospinal, corticobulbar, corticopontine as well as corticostriate fibers. And axons of the small pyramidal cells of layer 6 are the major source for corticothalamic fibers. The sixth layer or the pleomorphic layer also known as multiform cell layer because it consists of multiple types of cells which include few stellate cells, small pyramidal cells, cells of Martinotti and fusiform cells. The white matter of the cerebrum consists of both corticofugal and corticopetal fibers. The afferent fibers predominantly end in 
layers 1, 4 and 6 of the cortex, maximum number of fibers terminating in layer 4. When we compare the cortex of cerebrum with the cerebellum, we find that cerebrum shows 3 to 6 layers in its cortex. The archi cortex which is present in the dentate gyrus shows only 3 layers. The paleocortex which is present in subiculum shows 4 to 5 layers whereas rest of the neocortex shows 6 layers. In contrast to this, cerebellum always shows 3 layered cortex. Thickness of the cortex varies from place to place in cerebrum whereas in cerebellum it always has a uniform thickness. Based on the distribution of the layers, we classify the cerebral cortex into five subtypes, whereas in case of cerebellum, it shows the same stereotyped arrangement. Cerebral cortical output is largely excitatory, whereas the cortical output from the Purkinje cells of cerebellum is inhibitory. The five subtypes of cortex are a granular type where we find densely packed pyramidal cells and second and fourth layers of granular cells are almost absent. Such cortex is found in the motor cortex that is area number 4, 6, 8, area number 44 as well as in limbic cortex. The second type of sub, sub, uh, subtype of cortex is the granular cortex which shows densely packed stellate cells. Third and fifth layer consisting of pyramidal cells are almost absent and such a cortex is found in sensory areas that is somatosensory area number 312, visual cortex that is area number 17, 18 and 19, auditory cortex that is area number 41 and 42 as well as in parahippocampal gyrus. The third type is the frontal cortex which shows prominent third and fifth layers and reduced thickness of second and fourth layers. This is found in frontal lobe. Parietal cortex shows prominent second and fourth layers and reduced third and fifth layers, that is, prominent granular cells and reduced pyramidal cells, and this is found in parietal lobe. The fifth type of cortex is the polar cortex, where all the six layers are reduced. So, this is the thinnest type of cortex and it is found in frontal and occipital poles. In case of visual cortex, the external band of Bellarger in lamina 4 is very prominent known as stria of Generi and that is why this cortex is also called as striate cortex. Plus there is maximum density of stellate cells here. So, it gets the name as corneocortex because the granule cells appear like dust particles. So, quickly recalling what we have seen so far, cerebral hemispheres show outer cortex and an inner white matter. It shows six layers in most of the places, namely the molecular layer, outer granular layer, outer pyramidal layer, inner granular layer, inner pyramidal layer and the pleomorphic layers. Axons of the pyramidal cells in various layers form the cortical output fibers including association, commissural and projection fibers. Afferent fibers to the cortex terminate predominantly in layers 1, 4 and 6. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can visit this site for similar histology videos.